Okay? The hub, long a victim of the Long Island no. From the lighthouse to the public referendum, we have failed as a community to come together to support any project. That's just the facts. And the reality of those facts, as I warned, when the referendum failed, it would result in the loss of the Islanders. And in fact, the Islanders have given notice, they're going to go to the Barclays. So we were presented with a very significant challenge now, and the reality that you would face, we would face a darkened arena. 42-year-old, 45-year-old by then, darkened arena with a tumbleweed parking area. And we would not really be able to develop that to begin the development to June of 2015 when the lease expires and they finally leave. So we, have, we called on the business community and quite frankly, no one really came forward to say we could do it this way or finance it this way or that's the way we, we could do it. We were unable to really bring any one together that had a plan that was realistic, that could be funded. We had a lot of visions, a lot of good thoughts, but quite frankly, you know, there's been a decade of that and nothing has happened. So finally, and uh, welcomely, uh, Forest City Ratner, who owns the Barclays, came forward and said, I think I could help you give you a guideline for a realistic, 100% privately financed plan to reuse the Coliseum. And we welcome that. And now that has resulted in me issuing an RFP, which will likely result in a downsized arena. The arena right now is about 17,000 seats. The new arena may be eight to 12,000 seats. Immediately what that does is it opens up surface parking for redevelopment. Right now under the town code, all that surface parking that you see around that building, those 60 acres, are required to support a 17,000 seat arena. Building a structured parking garage is a very expensive proposition and has been very difficult to achieve. So put that aside. Once you go from 17,000, just for sake of example, eight or 9,000, you've cut the requirement of surface parking in half. And that will immediately provide economic opportunity to begin the redevelopment, which we expect will occur as a result of this RFP. So we're going to move forward. We hope to see respondents by all accounts in the inquiries. There will be at least one or two respondents that believe a mid-sized arena and this market will flourish. It will provide family entertainment, circuses, the Disney on Ice type events, as well as and we believe sporting opportunities, sporting opportunities to continue. They believe that this model will produce more dates. I don't know if any of you drive by the Coliseum a lot, but even with the Islanders and the present entertainment, there's many darkened dates, many, probably two thirds. And the Barclays, through their model, have about 229 dates, I think, already booked for the following year. So almost double of what we we're doing in our existing Coliseum. So it pre presents opportunity for reuse, redevelopment, increased jobs, and keep economic opportunity, obviously, in the area where many businesses rely on that traffic to continue their businesses. Uh, so we're going to continue along that path. The RFP is due back around in mid-April, and hopefully we'll have a decision and a uh, clear path to redevelopment and uh, new jobs and opportunities that uh, refresh our hub area and begin the process of true redevelopment. To that end, for the first time in the last decade, we actually do have development there. I have a 100% privately financed twin ice skating rinks to hold national and international competitions as well as be open to the public and youth athletics that is underway by the Ferraro brothers. Those of you that may remember them, they were twins to play in the same year on the New York Rangers, and they've come back here to Long Island. They're investing their dollars, 100% financed on public-owned land in a public-private partnership that will create this improvement in that area. And it begins, again, to increase tourism and uh, bring notoriety and dollars to our region. 